Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, review here. Um, <clears throat> I got a request to test uh, semantic endpoint protection. Um, this is a business software. It's meant to be distributed over a network. Um, so there's a central, you know, somebody's controlling the software, um, kind of like Sophos was. So, but I did get a trial of it. Um, the download was, I think, 500 and some odd megs and uh, unpackaged it's 540 I think it was 510 as a download but it comes with um, the 64-bit and documentation and also you know all that other fun stuff so I guess uh, let's get started here I have uh, I think 13 or some odd uh, URLs uh, I don't know how many this is gonna be but um, we will install the client version here and uh, just so you know it's version 11.0.5 something something it disappeared but it's the newest one that they had um, off of the web now you can do an unmanaged client or you can do a managed client uh, we will do a unmanaged client because uh, nobody's gonna be messing with this it's gonna come right off of uh, semantics website it's gonna be a typical install so let's install it here. I'm going to turn on my networking card just in case it needs to download anything. And I don't know how long the installer is going to take here. Seems to be going by pretty quick. A lot of people who um, have, uh, who are, you know, who go to a university have semantic, you know, they have to download it if they want to. Um, you know be part of the network or a lot of people at work have it so it's a good idea to let's you know check it out see how it does because um, semantic I think in my opinion I think makes a lot of its money if not most of its money from corporate networks and stuff like that and schools and all that stuff um, giving them software now at uh, you know some universities have very outdated software I know that I've seen it firsthand uh, where it's missing a lot of the new features so uh, they're basically relying on signatures which is not a good idea but we'll see what semantic here has uh, implemented into its newest version um, what I'm gonna do right now because it seems to be taking a little bit I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when the install is done see you in a second okay so it finished installing and then it did an update and it asked me to restart so once it restarted here we'll check live update once again make sure that everything is updated like it should be we'll let that work in the background let's just look at some of the settings here I'm not gonna change anything I'm gonna leave it just like it is okay auto protect so that's good email I'm not gonna mess with proactive zero day scan for Trojans scan for keyloggers as you can see all that's turned on you got exceptions, client management, and network threat protection we're not going to mess with here. So we're not going to mess with any of that. Okay, as you can see, the uh, live update window went away. So let's check it out here. Let's see what it can do against some of these zero-day threats. Oops, wrong one. Okay. Okay, it uh, found uh, auto protect is analyzing the risks. It says pending analysis, risk, it's a spy bot and a worm, I guess. Primary action, clean security risk. Secondary action, quarantine. So you can uh, see if we can do anything here with it. Other actions, we will uh, move to quarantine. Okay, maybe not.
Let's see if we can just delete it. Clean. Okay, so we'll just close that for the time being. Guess it won't let you do anything if uh, it probably just stopped the download permanently. Okay, so uh, there you go. That that actually worked. It quarantined it, so that's good. This is an exploit. Suspicious executable image download detected. So I suspect it uh, basically blocked that. This one might already be dead, and I think it is. Don't see anything from that one. We'll just keep going here. And that one looks like it's dead already. This is Antivirus Pro 2010, so uh, we'll just keep going here. We'll let that work and see what happens. Looks like that one's dead also. Looks like Antivirus Pro 2010 installed just fine. Looks like this JPEG isn't caught either. Okay, that one's analyzing the risks, so we'll let that work in the background. That one got deleted. This one might be dead. So both of those got deleted. Looks like that one made it through. Oh, okay. I guess it's trying to anal it's analyzing that blast one. So that's good. Seems to be doing pretty good with a lot of these uh, uh, zero day malware. So I'm gonna let it analyze here and see what it does. Seems to be taking a while. Let's see what kind of memory usage we got. And you can see we got uh, something in memory here. And here. Okay, there's the uh, semantic scan. It's taking about 46, but it's, uh, it's actually analyzing it. So it's working away. I see a couple of other things here, so it, it uses a decent amount of uh, RAM, but not too bad. Alright, so uh, while this is uh, doing its analysis here, I am going to stop the video. And, oh, there you go, it finished analysis. analysis. Restart required, access denied. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to not restart right now, I'm going to stop the video, and I'll start a second video, and in a second video I'll restart and continue from there.